so many options, so many different costs. Let's talk about which one is going to work the best for you. What is up, guys, gals, and non-binary pals? My name's Naomi. Welcome to House of Miscellanea. Today, I am coming at you with another little tutorial type video. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about pens. Now, uh, there are lots of pens out there. There are lots of turners out there. I, myself, am going to start looking into uh, turning pens sometime this summer. Uh, there's just lots of options, you guys. And while this does not represent all of them, it does represent a, a good little snippet of the market on what's out there based on price, based on style, based on size, based that there's so many different ways to select a pen, you guys. So I'd like to go over each of them with you. Um, now, what you're looking at here is an array of prices from least all the way up to most expensive okay so keep that in mind i will give pricing as we go but what i really want to talk to you about is what's going to work best for you both inside your budget and then aside from that what's going to work for your hands because for me personally i have carpal tunnel in both hands the right one most but i have carpal tunnel in both hands and so I have to be very, very choosy about what kind of pen that I use. Now, some of the pens that you see in front of you here, I can't even use them. Uh, I have them for examples for you guys and, you know, also as giveaways, things like that. But um, definitely wanted to get into the specifics, right? So starting with your regular pen and stylus that you receive for free from your kits, Sometimes they will include a comfort grip, sometimes they don't, just kind of depends on the company. It's lucky when you have them because it does help for long sessions of working. Now, as you can see in my grip here, I'm pinching it real hard. You know, I'm, I'm having to kind of all the way down on the pen. Now, this one I cannot use. However, if you are one of the lucky people who can use a pen like this, I love that for you. I cannot, unfortunately, but this one is free, costs you nothing, okay? Next up is a pen that I got from Amazon. Now, you can actually buy this pen. It is turned, uh, they say it's resin, but I'm, I'm pretty fairly certain this is actually acrylic. Um, very pretty, but cool thing is with these, for about seven bucks, you can get three of them on Amazon, which includes wax and like three different tips. It comes with this tip, it comes with a curved tip and a multi-placer. I mean, if value is what you're looking for and the pen that I just showed you for free is gonna work for you something small like that, then this might be a good option. It also gives you a little bit more heft to work with, sort of like working with the comfort grip in size, but up the whole pen. If that works for you, awesome. Go check out Amazon. I will be posting links for everything down in the description. So uh, if you're looking for this one in, you know, three different colors with tips and all that, check out the description box. Now, next one is one that is uh, a little bit different take, right? This actually is a regular stylus pen. However, someone has taken polymer clay and gone around that pen. So it keeps it in the same size and it might be cut off, you know, a little shorter, but they kept it in the same size, but they put polymer clay around the outside of it. This is something that you could do honestly very very easy polymer is something you can pick up for a pack for five or six bucks um, maybe even less than that three bucks depending on you know the quality of the polymer that you're buying you bake it in the oven for however long it instructs you to bake it and then you can make your own pens uh your own polymer pens it looks like this one they like sort of went and kept it that way i really like it uh this one is from moku moku pens 
uh, on Etsy, and I find it really cool. It's a really cool concept. It's about, I think it was five and a half inches, if I recall. I've got my little measuring tape here. Let's find out. So if a regular pen is, let's see, a regular pen is about five inches all the way to the tip. So this one looks to be about four and a half, including the tip, if we were to take the multiplacer off the end, but really about three and three quarters inches, just the, just the barrel, right? But 15 bucks. Or you can make your own for maybe cheaper, right? All right, now getting back to our little groupie here. Let's set these to the side. This little guy is really, really handy. These little minis, as they're called, um, they're a less expensive version of the larger, right? But they're a little shorter. I love this type of pen. It gives you more to grip onto than a, a even thinner pen type style, definitely more than the stylus type pen. And it's not quite as long. Flipping it over to do your multi-placing takes nothing. They're lightweight. This one is, let's give it a measure from tip to top. It's about three and a half. Um, I would say total barrel size is about three inches. This is also this is also what they consider uh, cast offs from their blocks when or blanks when they're making these larger pens. They tend to make them longer than they need to. This is usually like the cutoff end. This one was only fifteen dollars. So this one. I got at Enablers Outpost. I was not able to find any available at Enablers Outpost, but I did find others for $15, um, which I will link down in the description as well. I'll mark this one the mini. Next, you can find these are bottle stopper type pens, right? Uh, they use a bottle stopper mold for the resin to pour it into, but it's a palm placer because you can hold it. Um, this is great for people who have arthritic hands, um, who maybe need something more, a different kind of grip. Uh, yeah, you could grip it this way if you needed to, but you've got a, a chunk you can hold on to and place. You could put a multi-placer on here, any sort of thing. I thought that was really cool. Um, now, it doesn't work for my particular issue because I this this is not a good motion for me. But if I was to try and hold it like this, it's a thicker grab. You know what I'm saying? Um, one of these palm placers you can find on Jaded Gem Shop's website. Uh, they run about $25. So not terrible. Um, and like I said, this is just using a, a bottle stopper mold and resin poured inside. You can get... Uh, there's ones, I, they're a little bit more expensive, but they have uh, diamonds in them. Like, you know, maybe, I don't know, it's not trash diamonds, but, you know, they put diamonds inside of it and then do a mold like this, which I thought was really cool. Next up, we get into the world of little, a little further expense, um, but definitely uh, running into a gamut of different styles, right? So this little range here, uh, from O'Brien's Custom Turning. Uh, this one was a Lass and Lathe Works here. Um, this one, I cannot for the life of me remember where I got it from, but I know I paid about $40, $40 for it, um, as well as this one with the coffee beans in it. So what you're looking at here is sort of a range of different styles in size, okay? So you have this one here from O'Brien's. It's a thin pen, again, like like our other. It's a little fancier. Now this one is using resin. Inside are, they're a type of seed. I could not tell you exactly what the type of seed is that drops. They put it inside of the resin. Um, they can put glitter in there or all sorts of things. Like up close, it almost looks like moonstone in there. You're not getting the good flashes that it has, but um, uh, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And this pen, 
uh, from O'Brien's only costs about $30. O'Brien's is a great starter pen, uh, but they do tend to stay inside of kind of a plainer look to their pens. That's not always the case, but definitely something that you could consider uh, if you're just looking to see, you know, the different styles they do and something for uh, a good price range. O'Brien's is definitely a great option. Uh, next great option for a starter type you know, jumping up into the am I going to like it market is Lassen Lathe Works. Now, this was actually one of my very first pens that I used, and it's from Lassen Lathe Works. Absolutely gorgeous. I love all of the color flashing that I get. Um, and again, this one was like $32, I think. A different style. It's thicker, obviously, than the O'Brien's pen. Um, it's got some really fancy turning style happening here. And this end, it's exactly the same on both sides, but it's a nice size where I can grip around on the pen and it gives me plenty to work with. This is the size that I tend to work with or larger. Next size up or style, I guess, is like literally just a straight sort of shot. You know, uh, the turning style obviously is very, you know, simple. There's nothing really to it. It gives you a couple of options for thinness. You can either go inside of here, you can go down to the bottom, go a little further up, whatever works for you. But just a very plain style. Again, I'm so sorry. I don't remember where in the heck I got those from. But this is about like $40, somewhere like that. This one is so much fun. As I am sitting here, you guys... It is wafting coffee smell at me. Um, the important thing to note about this type of pen, I got this from C'est Plus Beau Tour. Uh, they have such a wide variety of pens, styles, turning styles, um, and uh, really prices, okay? The prices can be very different. Now, this one, the coffee pen, um, this one I paid $39 for. It smells of coffee, it's important to note that if you want it to stay smelling like coffee, it needs to stay inside of the tube when not in use, uh, but it does. I am like just smelling coffee beans as I'm sitting here just like, whoo, wafting. Um, but you make sure you put it back in the tube when you're not using it. Uh, but again, this one was 39 bucks, so not bad. Um, next, from Say Plu Boa Tour is my rainbow pen, uh, one of my rainbow pens. I adore this pen you guys I love it um, it has again some very fancy turnstiles in it um, this one was actually selected from the block to the size the the style of turning this was essentially a custom ordered from say Plubo a tour uh, those pens when they are custom range around $75 70 to 75 you pick from the blank, you pick the turning style, you pick the ridges in it, you pick the thickness, you pick everything. It's 70 to 75 bucks. Now, right in the same kind of idea range, a little cheaper, I put it in the wrong spot. Uh, this one is, and I guess these can range also down to 60. So that's why it was like, meh. Um, depending on how like fancy the block is and all of that. Uh, so this one was actually a gift, but I do know about pricing, things like that. This one is from Leopard Leatherworks. Now, Leopard Leatherworks, as you can see, it is a very fancy pen. It has a uh, gold flake, copper flake, um, silver flake inside of resin, hand turn, uh, I love this pen. This pen is simply gorgeous. I enjoy it. This one was 65. Now, what makes this one different from, say, a pen like Lass and Lathe Works is more in the customer service that you receive. Um, a pen like this is going to be 65 because all the way from selecting the blank up to the pen arriving at your door, you can get a very customizable experience with Leopard Leather Works. You select your blank. You can go on their, their lives to bid for a blank. 
and then the blanks that you win all the way from that point on will be 65 no matter what you do to it it's all the same cost now you go on you watch the live you bid for your blank you win your blank and then each I believe it's Friday and Saturday I'm not sure of the days on their lives but Leopard Leatherworks does a live where uh, Tim the person who turns the pen and his wife Carrie who helps you along with selecting one like measuring the size that you need your hand grip to be all the way to turning style things like that the the end style which this is called a baseball a thicker baseball bat end um and then Tim will put it on the lathe live in front of you and turn the pen and you get to watch it go from just a, a block or a, cylin a cylinder of resin to something really really beautiful and then you know while well, yeah you're watching it and that's cool to watch it is nothing to seeing them in person I can tell you that but this whole deal right is $65 um, and then again in the 60-ish to 65 $75 range is a wheat this one is a wheat it's called wheat fields I got this from black wolf woodworks um this well I didn't someone got it out of D stash but I got it out of D stash from somebody excuse me but this sort of a pen from black wolf would range about $60 now it's because the stuff that's inside like this is dried cactus and then there's wheat on the inside of it you can see the wheat wheat fields I love this pen so much I use it a lot this end especially because it's really thick and um, that's why I use this one so much. I'm more multi-placing than I am single placing. So I tend to use this end more than I do the other. Uh, absolutely beautiful turning style. Um, you can see that there's a little different. Like this is using wood or wood-like things. Now, mind you, these gimmicky pens... I don't have some of the gimmicky pens that you can get out there. There's ones with glitter in them. There's ones with little figures. And uh, there's ones where you can get them. They're like lava pens. They're so cool. When you flip them over, it like there's stuff on the inside that's like moving around. Really, really cool. Um, like uh, I believe Diamond Pen Pals has some like that. Um, I'll link that down there too. It's probably near the bottom since it's not one of these. But you can get all kinds of gimmicky pens, right, to match whatever you're looking for. But uh, I really enjoy that kind of, you know, idea. Now, you can also get hybrid pens where it's wood and resin. They're beautiful pens to look at. Um, actually, let me let me grab one. You know what, guys? I went ahead and grabbed all of my O'Brien's pens because I wanted to show you kind of the variety of things that are out there. Um, I mean, they put all sorts of stuff. Like this one's got metal shavings in it. Let's see if I metal shavings. Really cool. Um, this one is just kind of a plain resin, and they all vary in price, but he usually starts right around $30 and kind of goes up from there. This one. Oh my gosh, this rainbow pen, you guys. Oh, I love it. Unfortunately, it's like too thin for me, so I probably won't be able to keep this one. Um, I, I bought it, loving it, and that was before I really knew what my grip style was, and I've never even used it. I've never laid a diamond with this one, you guys. It makes me sad. That one will probably go in a giveaway at some point, but this is what I wanted to show you, a hybrid pen. This one is also from O'Brien's. Again, it's too thin. This one will probably get in, get added to a giveaway. I've never been able to use it. Mm. But it's wood on one end and then resin. And this one has beautiful, I'm trying to, you can see through it, right? I'm showing you, you can see through it. And then this one has delicate little flowers inside. It is, abs it is absolutely gorgeous a gorgeous pen, hybrid pens. So that's another style you can get, right? Now, the last one that I want to show you is the most expensive, and it does jump very fast from one to the next. That's why I saved it for last. This one I got out of D-Stash. However, I know how much these cost because I looked it up. Um, so I didn't pay this price, but uh, 
I want to make sure my lighting is good so you can see this one. Oh my gosh, I paused at exactly the right time because not only did the dogs start flipping out, but then this person drove past with the, their bass going like really, really loudly. So that worked out. This one, I made sure that my light was good. Sorry for any like ring glare you're going to get, but this one is from Black Wolf Woodworking or Wood wood Turning. I'll have a link in the description, but this one has opal inlay. Um, You can see the opal in there. He does not have any of these available now, but if you watch his site, they do go up for offer, um, but it has rings of opal in it. Absolutely beautiful. Very lovely. Made of wood. Very lightweight. Um, this one is, it's strange because it's a thinner pen, but I'm able to like on the bumps and I use this one. Um, this is about... Uh, 135 new so you can get a range right of different pens at different prices depending on what exactly you are looking for what sort of gimmicky stuff you're looking for or what have you there uh, as you can see there is a wide array of the sorts of pens that may or may not work for you now obviously start out on the low end and and then move your way up into traveling into more expensive pens. But that said, I will have a link for everything down in the description so you can check these out yourself. Um, you know, make sure that something is going to work for you and go from there. But otherwise, you guys, I will give you a word of caution. Collecting pens is really great. But man, it gets addictive really, really fast. So be beware out there. You'll find that you'll be spending money bef like just hot out of your pocket before you know it. Uh, that said, you guys, as ever, I hope that wherever you are in this great, big, beautiful world, that you are having a beautiful morning, evening, or afternoon, whatever time it is, wherever you are. If you like diamond painting content, Go ahead and uh, subscribe. Maybe you like me, maybe you don't. Otherwise, till next time, bye-bye. Hi, beans. This one is about four inches, about four inches, four and a half inches all the way to the tip. Sorry, you could probably see that, huh? No. Um, I got everything so far back. Let me bring you backwards here. We'll fix that in post. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.